The moment is now. Are you ready? Hello, my name is Damian. I'm from Bulgaria and you're watching mission number 28 from the Army's mission catalog called Force Surrender. My mission here is to bring about a forced surrender. If a player is unable to make a move, has no offensive pieces or the offensive pieces on hand, cannot reasonably capture the flag, like for example in a situation where he has only a helicopter or a jet left and my flag is located into the corner uh, where he reason where he technically cannot capture my flag by flying over it, that means he technically has surrendered. So for this mission I have previously created a setup which is my most recent setup. So I'm going to use it. So the computer accepts my setup which means I would continue playing with the red pieces. Let's play armies. I'm second to go, my opponent is first to go, so I wait for his move. So he decided to move his marine piece onto the coastal waters. So I push forward my coast guard with my mover and I wait for my second move of my opponent. Now he moves his vice president into the expanse. So I will move my submarine onto the coastal waters. No, that's not a good move, because if I move my submarine onto the coastal waters here, he will directly capture it with his marine piece, and he will be out of danger here because... No, actually I can do this, because I cover my submarine by my coast guard, so that means I will be safe with my submarine here. Okay, he decided to move his president uh, onto the south port. So I continue with moving my submarine into the deep waters. I really like moving my submarine into the this into the deep waters here because this really strategic place for placing your marines onto your submarine because you s you see the whole part of the seaside corridors and one two three blocks further here you see or something like one fourth of the map only by one piece which makes this position uh, very strategic. So I will move my marine piece next to the seaside corridors, one block away from the north port. And now I lost my coast guard. Now I can capture his marine piece, but after that he will directly capture my marine piece by his marine piece. And we are going just to exchange pieces. I don't want to do this for now, so I will just... Uh, I just gave away my Coast Guard and I have to just accept it. So what I'm going to do now is to move my Marine piece, to board my Marine piece onto my submarine. And I hope that I will be able to capture something 
Wat Mari hebt. So let's see what will happen if I move my marine piece here. If I move my marine piece here, I'm talking about this marine piece. If I move it here, I will be able to cover it by my president. While I cover my president with my marine piece and my army. Okay. Let's say that he decided not to move his marine pieces. And he moves something else so I will be able to capture his marine piece by my marine piece. That means he loses. He would lose his marine piece. Then I would lose my marine piece by his marine piece, and then he would lose his marine piece from my marine piece. So I am going to move my marine piece here, and I will try to create a blood sheet, <laughs> marine blood sheet, where I will be able to get away with losing only one marine piece, and I will try to capture both of his marine pieces. I just hope he will not undertake something with his marine pieces. He decided to exchange pieces, okay. Now I capture his marine piece uh, with my president. Okay. It is interesting to see how he covers his marine piece with his president and the opposite. So he steps forward with his vice president. So while my marine piece is here, I don't think he would like to move one of his pieces here. I don't I don't mean that they're blocked, but anyway, they're in really good position according to the situation here. So I think I can mm, I can try to create a, an offense against against his vice president and I will somehow try to capture it he decided to capture my army so I captured his vice president Anyway, he again decided to exchange pieces. Probably this wasn't the smartest move I did, because in my opinion, army has more value than vice president. Anyway, it happened already, so... So now I will move my president closer to the expanse and I would support it with my okay alright this is something I I do not understand so he decided to support his army by his marine piece with giving away his president I don't know why did he give up so easy but anyway I captured his president with my marine piece and I'm out of the sight of his marine piece the interesting thing think is that my marine piece is also uh, my my president is also out of the sight of his marine piece now he would lose his jet I just captured it with my marine piece because his jet was unattended in in his base I really don't like playing against the jet because I mean it's not a piece I like because it just stays somewhere and it is so easy not to 
not to notice that it can capture one of your pieces because it is far, far away on the other side of the board, for example. So I just decided to get rid of it and not having it as a problem. Okay, now he moved his marine piece one block further toward my marine piece. He's on to the coastal waters. One, two, three. Means I can capture all these pieces here. I can easily capture his flag now, but the mission is to to neutralize all his offensive pieces first in order to create a technical for surrender okay let's see now if I move my president here I will be able to capture his army if I capture his army he will not be able to capture my army with his helicopter because he blocked his landing zone by his mover. That means he will be able to capture my president only with his marine piece. And if he captures my president with his marine piece, that means I am going to capture his marine piece with my marine piece. So what, I'm, what I think he is going to do is to move his army on a safer place. No. He did not do it, okay, he didn't do it. He decided to move his marine piece one block closer to my marine piece. I really don't know what he's trying to do here. Anyway, I'm still out of his sight. Probably he's trying to trap my marine piece. Anyway, I'm going to leave my marine piece as a bait here. I just captured his army with my president. Oh, actually, you know what? I do not cover my president with my marine piece, so that was a little mistake. But that's not a bad mistake, because anyway, I, I still prefer capturing an, an army in front of a president. Anyway. I wasn't careful enough. So, so I'm going to move my marine piece onto the Polder Valley. There is no jet, which I should be worried about now. Okay. He decided to move his helicopter into the expanse. So now I'm going to move my jet onto the most western block on the board. Where I tread on his helicopter because the jet moves for six or eight paces for six or eight straight spaces okay he trapped my jet but anyway I can I have No, I don't have choice. Now my jet is absolutely trapped. But anyway, I'm not... I am not leaving with empty hands, so I'm going to capture his helicopter before I lose my jet. And now I'm going to lose my jet because he's going to capture it with... That's right, his marine piece. So now I have to create an offense 
against his marine piece with my president and my marine piece and eventually my helicopter. So my president goes here on the other side of my base. Okay, we see a motion of his nuke here, means I have to be careful. Okay, now my president directly sees his marine piece, so he, he will have to move his marine piece, because otherwise he's going to lose it. Okay, now I have to somehow cover my president because he can capture it anytime. So I have to cover it with my marine piece. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if I place my marine piece here, my president will be out of sight of my marines. So that's not a good place. If I place it here, my president will be in the side of my marine piece but I would also be in the side of his marine piece where he will be able directly to capture my marine piece by his marine piece so what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture my own uh, aircraft carrier take with friendly fire I think this is the only way I can protect my president I just had to do it. Okay. Now I move my president. Uh, so I can see directly his marine piece with my president. And I hope he would move deep into the expanse. Not exactly, but still. One, two, three. Nope. Now I move my president one block further where I can see his marine piece again. And now he has to move either toward his base or into the deeper into the expanse. No, he just move it one block further. I'm doing the same. Probably I will have to involve my helicopter in order to accomplish something. But you know what? I have a plan. My plan is to involve my submarine. Hmm. Uh, I would like to involve my submarine, but he will be able to capture my submarine by his submarine if he decides to enter the waters, and he will definitely do it in order to capture my submarine. So, I might want to capture submarine somehow first. Anyway, again, I move my president here. So I would force him to, for example, leave his submarine. Again, same strategy. 
I'm just trying to push him, him back. To push him back. And I'm, I will try to stick him here onto the most western space. Doesn't happen for now. Because... That way he won't be able to cover his submarine and I will be able to directly capture it with my marine piece and then I can involve my submarine into the big deep water pool. We're playing cat and mouse here. <laughs> Coast Guard. He got me here. I absolutely forgot about his Coast Guard. I mean, he did not get me, but anyway, it will be harder for me to capture the submarine if he has the Coast Guard here. So my submarine is into the deep waters. I lost my Coast Guard and my aircraft carrier, so that means I don't need my mover. So that means I can freely move my helicopter. Um, here and I just flew over my mover because I really need the space here and I don't need my mover one two three one two three nope doesn't work now I can capture his close guard Okay, and I sacrifice my helicopter. He will capture it for sure. And now I can stick back to my plan. One, two, three. Now I move my marine piece. Closer to the expanse, but not close enough to his marine piece, so he can capture me. I'm careful. My president and my marine piece cover each other. And they will try to organize an attack against his marine piece, which would force him to step back and to leave his submarine unattended. Almost. Okay. I want to stick him in here. Into the most western space on the board. One, two, three. Okay, that works too. That means I can capture his submarine now. And at the same time, I have to be careful not to get into this zone here. This is the critical line, because he can just activate his nuke and neutralize all my pieces there. Okay. Now I move my president one block further. Hmm. I put my submarine into the bigger pool. Okay. involves his child or I can just end this cat and mouse games and just capture his marine piece by sacrificing my marine piece and then I can end the game only with my president because after I capture his marine piece and his nuke 
and his mover because his mover has a passive attack power because he can pu it can push objects over my pieces with capturing them and the nuke can blow away my flag that means I have to capture these two pieces too after capture the marine piece the mover and the nuke I can proceed with winning the game and the mission will be considered completed so what I'm going to do is to involve my marine piece now I'm going to lose my marine piece and afterwards he's going to lose his marine piece from my president okay I also have to involve my child because for capturing the the mover that means I have to neutralize the nuke first so now I involve my child he wants to escape with his nuke now he moved his nuke one block deeper into his base and his nuke now is not close enough, not far away enough from his flag in order to activate it that means I can place my child whatever I want and with my next move I'm going to capture his nuke okay he lost his nuke now I'm going to capture his mover He moved his mover, so I cannot capture his mover now, but what I'm going to do is to capture his aircraft carrier first. And now with every other of my moves, I'm going to capture his mover, because whatever he moves his mover... Oops! We have a reserve here! That way... Yep, he moved all his pieces... Or he either moved all his pieces or they were captured and now he's able to move his reserve and his reserve turned into a regular offensive piece yep with uh, three blocks movement with three blocks with three blocks straight line movement that means I have one more piece to capture now my opponent did not technically surrender so what I'm going to do is to involve my reserve now and now I am going to I am going to block the seaside corridors with my diplomat okay he cannot just go through the seaside corridors now which means it will be easier for me to capture his reserve into the seaside corridors I will just create a trap, a trap. 
but I need to involve my reserve in order to to have a plan B in, or, uh, in case he captures something some of my pieces, I mean the president or the reserve now I move my president here where I can directly see half of the seaside corridor where is his reserve I lost my nuke but I don't need it anyway with capturing his nuke he lost his reserve which is a perfect development of the situation for me now with losing his reserve my opponent technically surrendered because he doesn't have pieces which he can capture my flag with which means that with my next move, I capture the flag and I should win the game. So this was mission number 28 from the Army's mission catalog called Force Surrender. So in this mission I showed you how the computer technically surrendered by losing all his offensive pieces he can capture my flag with. So thanks for watching. Bye.